Hi guys, this is Anthony, and um, today I'll be doing a review of Tori Amos' first album, Little Earthquakes. Um, I just want to say that this is definitely the second best Tori Amos album I've heard out of the four albums I've listened to so far, the next being Strange Little Girls. And I've listened to this album now for like seven times, I believe, and um, I just want to listen to each al Tori album a few times so each, well, the songs can get... Um, remembers in my head so I'm ready to move on and listen to the best tracks over and over again in the future because it's on my iPod and um, what this album is it's a bit set out, set out like a diary and it, the sound of it is a lot more simpler than the other albums especially like Boys of Pele and Book from the Quargo Hotel it's just really p Tori's voice in the piano and it doesn't mean to say it's going to be a bit boring album or slow and just uh, dull. This album is actually one of the best albums I've ever heard. It's beautiful, it's um, got a lot of emotion in it and Tori's very honest with the lyrics in this. There's a song called Me and a Gun. Um, yeah, Me and a Gun and it's about the night she got raped back in the 80s and um, even though it, it, it must be a very brave and daring thing to do to put on an album like this and because it's like a haunting a cappella song it's not the most nice song ever um, it's it's just really great that, that she's put on an album that's just absolutely amazing it's very honest and it's just not a load of tripe um, but I'll get, definitely give this album a 10 out of 10 now the song opens with Crucify which a lot of Tory fans will know and um, if you're new to Tory I'm going to check that out, uh, song out. It's a great opening song, It's the the chorus is just absolutely killer and um, really breathtaking and it's just really really um, powerful as well if I can say that. And then there's a song called Silent All These Years which is uh, one, my favourite track on the Tory Amos album. It's just absolutely beautiful, just touring the piano and the I love the verses, the chorus, the melody, it's just absolutely just stunning, just a stunning song and I really would like to learn that song on an actual piano. And yeah, check that one out and you can watch the music video on YouTube of her with the white background, uh, playing a piano inside the box and her face at the end, it's just classic music for, from the 90s to be honest. Then there's also one of my favourite songs called Winter which is just Again, a very stunning song, and there's one called Happy Phantom, which is a very quirky song. It, it's quite um, bizarre. A very, I can see like the Kate Bush comparison in this song, where Tori um, starts to get a little more um, laid back and more, but a bit more uh, goofy, a bit, but in a good way. Um, yeah, very bizarre song, but it, it fits nicely on, onto an album like this. So it has all just different themes. And there's also a song called China, which is absolutely beautiful. I think it, her vocals in this song sound even better than Silent all these years. Um, they just sound so... Just like a dream, like dream voice. It just sounds like a voice that you'd hear in your dreams. It's beautiful. And there's also, um, of course, Me and the Gun, which is um, not a very nice song, but it's like an acapella. And... Yeah, I don't get into that one. Um, and there's also the album uh, title track, Little Earthquakes, which um, is a great ending to such a, a flawless album. Definite 10 out of 10. And I'll just show you the um, booklet. I've shown you the um, booklet on my collection video I've done a few weeks back, but I'm, it took me around to show you again anyway. And you've got the, the disc. Yeah, I think this album definitely deserves like a, a 20th anniversary uh, edition because um, she, there was a lot of B-sides released off the singles and I think I've listened to a few of the B-sides and they sound just as good as the tra title tracks and it would just be a brilliant idea to release it. I just I can just imagine that there being a deluxe edition in my head just instantly. And the lyrics are set up really good. It's like the infamous box shape plug on the front cover which is really creative. Even though they're very small to read, but I don't really care to be honest. <laughs> and these are stills from the Silent All These Years video. 
So yeah, definitely an amazing album. If you're new to Tori Amos, I really recommend um, listening to this album first. But if um, but it won't hurt to listen to any of the other albums like um, Under the Pink and Boys for Pele. Um, I wouldn't start with any of the later albums out because I think the earlier albums I've heard are much better albums than the later work. Even though lighter works really good as well. And yeah, this is definitely the second best Tori Amos album I've um, heard so far. The first being Boys of Pele, which is a masterpiece, and this is a masterpiece as well. A definite 10 out of 10. Um, so yeah, it's just an amazing album. 12, 12 tracks, even though that's short for a Tori Amos album, because she usually puts 70 minutes worth of um, material onto an album. Uh, still check it out. Um, places to find it. If you live in the UK, um, I would recommend if you've got a shop called That's Entertainment nearby, uh, in your local uh, town, city, whatever, then you, you're bound to find this because this is where I found it at. I found this at That's Entertainment for my local area. Um, or you could just resort to eBay or Amazon and um, yeah. We can get a copy of them. The prices shouldn't be too dear. Um, if you live in the states, um, again, resort to the internet, or you could try um, uh, your local CD shops if you have any, um, where they sell like videos and DVDs and stuff. Um, and yeah, yeah, just have a look. You might resort to the internet because the policy should should be pretty cheap there as well. I think this album might be easier to find in the US. I think um, and other countries, internet or try your local um, CD shops or something. And yeah, definitely a beautiful album. Um, really recommend it. Just piano really and the Tory's voice, but again, it's not boring at all. And each track um, has its own personality. And yeah, definitely turn it in and check it out. And if you want to leave a comment in the box below on your take or any questions or anything like that, please don't hesitate. And thank you for watching.